Hey guys, Dan here again. I wanted to make a quick revision. This is a revision for episode 26. Uh, actually, at the time of the recording, the video is about halfway done rendering, uh, ready to go on YouTube. And uh, I knew when I left off, I left something that I didn't feel was uh, right in the code. So I wanted to make a quick revision and just show you guys what I'm talking about. So uh, I'm back in the stat allocation module script and when I left off, I left us with this little script here, or this little function that's display stat descriptions. And I knew when I was doing this, it was the wrong way. I just couldn't figure out why I was doing what I was doing wrong. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys real quick what we're going to do instead of this uh, this function here. So just go ahead and copy. Uh, leave it there for now. Go into our for loop, <clears throat> and in our for loop, we're going to create a if statement, and we're just going to look for our stat selections value and basically what this if statement says is says if stat selections i is true then execute whatever is in this if statement now stat selections i is whatever the user selects on the screen so it's zero through five or one through six however you want to look at it <clears throat> and so what we're going to do is actually take this GUI label we're going to cut it and we're going to stick it in this if statement and what we're going to change is in is instead of having a zero in stat selection we're just going to change it to i and what it's going to do is every time this for loop runs it's going to create these toggle switches it's going to look for a true or false value and if it if the value is true meaning we have something selected then it's going to display the, that selected uh, description now the next thing we need to do is actually put it where we want it uh, and with this rec so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it at 150 I'm going to make it 100, uh, <clears throat> 100 uh, wide and 150 long. I'm going to start at uh, 10 from the edge, uh, 20 from the edge. And then I'm going to, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the 60 times I. And then we're going to do plus 30. And what this is going to do is it's going to put the stat description right below uh, the stat name whenever you select it. Now you can go ahead and control S. Uh, we we're going to cut we we're going to cut get rid of this display stat descriptions. And uh, again control S to save. Go into Unity. I'm going to press play and I'm going to show you what I just did. So go ahead and press play. The video is running so it might take a minute to to run for me. Let's see. It's complying. Here we go. So now I'm going to show you the stats. Uh, our frame rate's perfectly fine. It's capped around 70, uh, but basically, this is what I wanted to show you. So when we click stamina, it's going to show us uh, what what everything is. So you can see, and this allows the player to figure out what exactly all these do and what they are. Um, I just think it's a cool way. It's a cleaner way to show things. You don't have to have as many GUI calls when you have them as toggle switches. Uh, you can have really in-depth. Um, you have in-depth uh, descriptions if you want. You can put them off to the side. Uh, I'm just going to keep them under here for now. And uh, in the next video, not this video, in the next video in episode 27, I'm going to actually have the stat values here and uh, plus or minus buttons to change them. Anyways, I hope this video is quick and short. Uh, sorry for the revision. Hopefully, uh, I'll get it right in the next video. All right. Uh, anyways, stay tuned for the next for episode 27. Should be out in a day or so. All right. Bye.